In March, before most people could get the vaccine, COVID-19 got Danny Quintero at work. He was rushed to the hospital, struggling to breathe. Every day, despite all the different treatments they're doing, he wasn't getting any better. Danny's a salesman at an RV dealership in Pierce County. A co-worker got sick on a trip and unknowingly brought COVID into the office and to nearly the entire sales team. At just 31 and in good health, the Federal Way husband and father of two nearly died from the disease. It felt like, you know, this is what you've been seeing on the news for the past year. And that alone is terrifying. The thought of losing your life to COVID. Yeah. Danny made it through and came home to recuperate, where his company sent him an urgent email. His illness qualified as a workers' compensation claim and needed to be reported. A month into the process, the Quinteros say they started getting the runaround. Every person has passed it off to someone else that hasn't been able to give us any information. LNI records of their contacts show one delay after another. Their claim is still undetermined. It needs further review. A claim specialist needs to defer to a different supervisor. Still no update. Review date for management is unknown. The claim is sitting to be reviewed. It just makes you think there's a stack somewhere that no one is even paying attention to, not knowing how truly deeply it's affecting people's lives. Here's the effect, the stress of loads of bills coming in the door with medical providers wanting to get paid one way or the other. With an LNI claim, your regular insurance doesn't kick in. Expenses include $18,000 for an ER visit in Federal Way that lasted five hours, nearly $4,000 for an ambulance transport to St. Joe's in Tacoma, $330 a day there for oxygen, more than five grand a day for the room, and a vial of special medication for severe COVID pneumonia costs nearly $30,000. And the clock's ticking with creditors getting antsy. This amount is past due. Action is required. Final reminder, your balance is seriously past due. And if you don't pay, you're headed to a collection agency. It was hard enough emotionally getting through this as a family and to still feel like you're going through it every day is just being powerless. What would you say about that experience that they say they had? So my first response is, I am truly sorry. Sherry Ward is chief of claims for the Department of Labor and Industries. That's extremely stressful, um, causing anxiety, I'm sure. Um, and so that delay is not acceptable at all. This is astounding. We were at the Quintero's home when Danny saw the itemized hospital bills for the first time. The total, more than $156,000. I don't know what to say. Wow. And without an approved LNI claim, the Quinteros would be on the hook. It's pretty terrifying. I can't sustain that. We can't sustain that. It would ruin us. According to the state, since COVID began, 9,200 workers' comp claims have been filed with LNI. For denied claims, the average decision takes 96 days. The average time for an approved claim is nine days just nine days. How long has it been since you filed the claim? <laughs> just over six months. After half a year of phone calls, phone tag, emails and voicemails with the state and regular calls from creditors, last week the Quinteros got a sudden notice. Our claim was approved and the world was lifted off of our shoulders. The state approved the claim after the King 5 investigators called LNI about the case. And it was less than two days after you made that first call that got us that approval faster than we could have even imagined. It might make some people say, hey, they called the media. Their claim got quickly approved. You know, what does that say about the process? I mean, is that fair? The inquiry from the media did not... Um, cause us to make the decision to allow the, the particular claim in question. Um, it did bring to light, however, that we had some uh, problems with our processes. Sherry Ward says because of this case, LNI has changed public policy, dedicating a team to focus full time on COVID related cases that are lingering without a decision so that no one else ever experiences this delay and the unfortunate uh, circumstances um, that Mr. Quintero did. It was liberating. Um, 
we got the approval for our claim and I only hope that starting immediately, everybody else starts to get approval.